Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to make custom header and footer in Elementor. So let's begin. All right. So to make the custom header and the footer, the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on Add New Plugin. And here we have to search for Elements Create Elementor Add-ons. Okay. So we have to install this, and we have to click on Activate. Perfect. Now we have to refresh the page. All right. So after this, what you need to do, you have to go inside the dashboard of LMS kit. So we have to click on this. And here you can see the option of header and the footer. So we have to click on this. All right. So now we have to click on add new here. All right. So we have to add the title. So this would be header one. And this would be the type header. So we also have the footer type. And after this, the condition is that we have to put this onto the entire site. We also have the other two options, but they are only the part of provision. And in the last, we have to click on activate and let's just click on save changes. Perfect. Now what you need to do, we have to click on edit here. So in the edit template, what you need to do, you only have to click on edit with Elementor. All right. So as you can see here, we are inside the Elementor editor. So I'm going to simply add the container. Okay. So I'm going to use the flex box and it will be the two column structure. Perfect. And here, what I need to do, I would go here with the full width. And now let's just go here with the image in the first column. Let's just click on the choose image. And here I want to simply use one image as the logo. Okay. So let's click on select. And in the second part, we will do one thing. We'll simply add the list items. So let's drag this and put this here. Okay. So the first thing that I need to do here, I have to click on our main container and I have to change the background color here. So let's just go here with the dark color. Okay. So the black color would look good. And I also have to change the color of text here. So let's go inside the style in our icon list. And I would simply change the color of the icon. That will be white. And also the color of text here. That will also be white. Perfect. And here I have to do one thing. I will simply click on the list. All right. So now I'll simply go back into the content. And here I will simply change the layout of our icon list here. Okay. So the first one would be basically, let's say the number. All right, and as the icon, I would add phone here. And in the second one, I would like to add the email address. So let's just add a dummy email address here, and I have to change the icon here. All right, so in the last, I would also add one more thing that would be the address. So this will also be dummy address. All right, so now I have to change the icon here. So this will be, let's say location or something. So let's click on it and click on insert. Perfect. Here, what I need to do, I have to change the size of my logo here. So I would like to decrease the size here. I think this is looking fine. And now I have to click on my list icon here. I have to go into the style and put this into the center maybe. And I will add some space here. All right. So this is looking fine. And if I wanted to add the divider, I can also do this. Okay. But I will simply keep it like this. And we have to add one more container here. So this will be the single column structure. It will be the full width as well. So let's click on full width. And here, what I need to do, I have to change the color of our container. So this will be the black color as well. Or maybe we can go here with any other color. But right now, let's just go here with the black color. All right. And here, I just have to add name. You will be able to see elements create layer menu. So we have to drag this and put this here. And now I have to select the menu. All right. So this is looking fine. And now what I need to do first, I have to put this into the center and then I have to change the color here. So menu item style would be white color. Now this is looking good. And I have to do one thing here. I have to change the menu height. So let's just change the height here. All right, so this is looking perfect. Okay, so I think now we need to change the container color here. So let's click here on our main container. And this would be the black color. Now this is looking perfect. Okay, 
and I can also put our list items to the left side that is looking fine or we can go here with the right side okay so I think this is looking good perfect now let's click on update now we have to go back because we have created our custom header all right so now if I just click on our visit side here you will be able to see our custom header okay as you can see we have our custom header here all right so similarly now we're going to create our custom footer so we have to go back here click on add new now what we have to do we have to click on elements kit here and we need to go into the header and footer again all right so now i would need to click on add new here so this will be the footer so i have to write down the name of the footer this is footer one activate and it will be on the entire site so let's click on save changes now we have to click on edit here now let's click on edit with elementor again all right so now we are inside our elementor editor again so now we have to create our footer so let's click on add container here we're gonna go here with the flex box perfect and here what we need to do we will simply use the four column structure all right so now the first thing that i need to do i have to add the background color so first we have to do the background color so let's just go here into the style click on the background type go for the color so that would be the black color and the second thing is that in the first column i would just simply add the logo so let's click on our logo here select the logo now this is how it is looking and i would need to add one more thing so that would be the paragraph and I will just simply add this after our logo on the same column. And I have to change the color of the text here. So that would be a kind of grayish color that is looking good. And I would also need to decrease the font size here. All right. So this is looking fine. Or we can go here with the default value. So I'm going to go here with the default value. Perfect. And after this, what we can do here, we can simply add the quick links. Okay, so let's just add the heading here. So let's just write down quick links. I have to change the color of it. That would be the white color. And I think the font size is looking fine. All right, so after the quick links, I have to add one thing. So for that, I need to go back to my WordPress dashboard. So let's go here and do our WordPress dashboard. And let's just go into LMS kit and we have to click on header and footer and I have to go inside the header one so let's click on edit with Elementor and what I can do here I can simply copy this list item here okay so let's click here and I'll just simply copy this and let's just go back and I will just put it here now I need to do one thing here I have to change the layout here to the default and now I have to go back into the style. Let's just decrease the space here. This is looking fine. And I have to put this into the left side. And this is looking okay. Perfect. All right. So here what I can do here. I can simply remove the icons. Because I don't need that. All right. So let's delete the icon. On the second one too. And on the last one. And here I can simply add the name of the pages. But I wanted to add directly here. Okay. So let's add here, let's say home here and I will simply add the link of the home here. And in the second one, what I can do here, I can simply add services here and I can simply add the link of the services. And in the last, what I can do here, I can simply add about us and let's just add the link of about us. Okay. And let's just go into the advanced settings. And let's just add the pairing at the top. So we have to unlink the values here. I think this is looking good. Okay. And similarly, I will just simply copy this structure and duplicate this. And I will delete the other two ones. Okay. Because I don't need the other two columns here. And here I can simply write down settings or something like this. So this will be the privacy link, the first one. And here we can add the contact link. And after that, we can also add one more link. But let's just delete this one right now. This is looking good. And one thing that I need to do here, I have to change the spacing here. Okay. So let's go to the first one. And this would be, let's say, I want to go here with 
33 width here and we're going to do the same thing in the second column and we're going to do the same thing in the last column now this is looking good and now i want to add the spacing at the top and the bottom in our footer so let's just click on our main container and let's just go inside the advance and add some padding here so i think i would go here with 30 px so now let's just update this and now what we need to do we have to go back to our website so let's click on exit now let's click on visit site and now you'll be able to see that we are having our custom header and if i scroll down we are having our custom footer here so this is how we can create custom header and the footer in elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel